Welcome to the world famous Guarantee RV Super Centers here in Junction City, Oregon. I'm Gary Christians, but mm, since 1981 you've been knowing me as the van guy. Yeah, I've been here a while enjoying every minute of it. Today I've got for you a 2018 Road Trek CS. Does anybody in the crowd know what CS is? Uh, you look at that. You're right, camper special. Good job. Let's take a look inside. A little different configuration uh, because it's got the third seat and you can uh, swivel this seat and you can unbolt it, take the seat out if you don't want it in there and put something else in its place. With a bed kit this will make a third bed so if you wanted to bring somebody along they got a place to sleep. They got all the lights turned on, they're all LED. So it's not gonna, uh, they're gonna last a long time, not uh, take much power. And they don't put any heat out. So we've got your electric sofa in the back, folds flat, makes into twin beds, or you can take the board right here, put it out here, fill in this with these cushions, and you've got a mega bed, big bed in the back. Let's raise it back up. Got shoulder restraints in the back. With a turn of a knob, the TV comes out, faces forward. You can turn your seats around. Leave this as a bed, have that as your uh, living room, dining room. Built in DVD player. Lock that in place. Got a switch right here for uh, surround sound or automotive speakers, either one. Here's a lot of your owner's, owner's packet information, the side screen, which I'll we'll show you up front. More part, more storage in here. This is a little remote that you can put up. This runs a fantastic fan, so you can adjust temperature settings and the speed, or turn it off. Solar panel, 240 watt solar panel up on top, charges your batteries all the time. And we've got an Aldi system on this unit too. It's located right here. Uh, you turn it on, and that way you run diesel for your fuel, for your heat. There's no propane on board. Closet. Nice closet area. Pull out extension for all your hanging clothes. Safety uh, latch is unlocked. You can open your bathroom door. It's got a little light in here, got a nice place to store your shampoo and stuff down below as well. Nice little sink, this hose happens to be hooked up for your shower. You sit, sit or stand, get the temperature in the sink right, pull your curtain around, and take a shower. Now this, this little latch here, that lines up with this here. So this is put together like this, so you got elbow room. I know you're wondering how you're going to fit in there. You don't need to. They get they gave you more room. So when we're traveling, we swivel this around, push it straight down, and it locks that door in place. On a CS, you pick up this extra cabinet. You have hanger space up on top. Your shelves are adjustable. You can pull them out and use it for hanging space or a combination of hanging and shelves. Good more more storage more storage, even more storage. Solar, um, inverter, that's gonna run your induction cooking. So with a ma magnetized pan or pot, you can set it down here, and within a very short time, very short, it will be warm. When you take it away, very short time, it'll be cold. Not immediately, but very close. So this unit has got the chef's dream because of all that storage in the kitchen. Full extension on all of them, positive latches to close them up, full shelves underneath here. If you could glance around this direction for me, next to the inverter switch you've got InstaHot. So that comes out of this here. Whoops. Let's get this recessed sink working. 
So you have your InstaHot here. The bad thing about InstaHot is you turn it on, gosh, you forgot to turn it off. So these have got switches for how many seconds to leave it on. So you can have it on for a short time, or say like a couple minutes, and it'll shut itself down and conserve your, your power. And then they also put a little drawer in here for some of your long utensils. Convection microwave. So you can bake in here. Um, one of the few vans that has a big d double door refrigerator. Lots of space in this bad boy. Tabletops right here. Turn these chairs around, it will fit all three people. Lithium battery. So this has got two lithium, 200 watt lithiums for a total of 400. Um, running this air conditioner, depending on the humidity and the heat, you should be able to run that AC for at least four hours. Once your voltmeter gets down to about 11.5, if you have the volt switch turned on, which is just uh, below that yellow tag there on the dash, um, that would start the engine for 30 minutes. 260 direct current volts go right into your lithium batteries, which is about enough time to, to charge a lithium battery um, with, that, with that generator. Now, it runs off your engine, so you don't have to worry about propane or a much noisier uh, way to get power in your unit. Um, monitor panel, of course, is located up above. Inverter switch uh, in the back. Battery disconnect. I just turned it off. And then we'll turn off the batteries. And she's asleep. Hollow leather upgrade. This electric step comes in and out, or you can turn it off so it stays in the out position. If you're camping, closing the door, it'll just stay out until you want to leave. Uh, this is the snaps to hook in the side screen that parts down the middle with magnets to make it nice to keep bugs out and uh, entry easy. Electric awning comes out a few inches, so if you're parked next to this guy at the park, you can run your awning all the way out to right here and uh, don't have to run it out eight feet. You can run it out just a little bit, whatever you want. Uh, up upgraded wheels. It's got a little tie down here if you want to put your awning arms out and secure them to the side. My thought is, if it's real windy out, don't put your awning out. Backup cameras up here. Here's your second tabletop for the rear of the unit. And of course, got all your seat belts, uh, center lap, two shoulder restraints, uh, part of your surround sound, the speaker right in there. Heavy duty wiring running into that, you know, that uh, inverter. 5,000 pound tow capacity, already has the wiring in for seven pin bargeman plug for a small trailer or you can use a utility trailer, a boat trailer, and they have adapters for the plug. It just goes from seven down to a flat four or whatever you have. It's very easy to adapt to. Outdoor shower, hot and cold water. Very sleek on the exterior. This is just a little extra piece they added on. And right in here you have your 110. There's your spare tire. If you have a problem, call roadside. Say, no, I've got the tire with me. They take it out, change it out, and you're on the road. So, black tank, gray tank, uh, TV, cable TV. This little knob here is when you're running your macerator. Maybe you put something down there you're not supposed to. You can give that a little shot. and It'll turn your impeller and get you running again. Business end of the macerator hose is right here. It's got a little adapter that goes down in the hole. Turn that parallel and uh, turn your switch and you're rolling. No propane down below again, no propane. City water hookup. And again, two little magnets that hold it closed. There we go. So you can't hear this, I think, but I left the engine going to charge the battery up just a little bit. When it came out of the shop, they left all the stuff turned on, so the battery is down just a bit. But you can barely hear that engine running. Um, this little red button right here, 
That should turn your macerator on. Between 60 and 90 seconds, your tanks are empty, you're all done, and you're off camping again having fun. Real easy. Um, tilt, telescoping steering wheel. Uh, of course, power windows, power locks, tilt cruise, Bluetooth. It's all hooked up for all your toys. It's got the crash avoidance up there by the mirror. Uh, very safe unit. If you look right up in here, here's your, uh, your, your fuses are on the left and your circuit breakers are over here for your system. So it's real easy to get to. You don't have to go stand on your head. Now I would be really surprised if you didn't have a question or two. Just call the van guy direct. 541-554-9581 or my email is at the bottom of the screen. Go to the van guy. Get your questions asked, answered directly. Thanks. Have a good day.